Leo is 8-0 heading into the final week of the regular season. Most recently, the Lions beat Columbia City, a team that is now 4-4 on the season. And if you ask some of the team members, they were more impressed with the performance in that game than in some of the previous games. Yeah, I didn't think we played as well against the Huntington North the week before. Had a, um, you know, had a little let down, especially in the second and third quarters of that game. Uh, didn't really execute very, very well, and so um, kind of challenged our team, and they responded really well on Friday and proud of uh, how they responded and executed on a Friday night. Uh, the past two weeks, we felt like we hadn't played up to our standard. We had been playing down a little bit. Even though we won, we didn't think they were good wins. So just to go out there and dominate a team like that, especially to get our starters out before halftime, is really amazing. As it has for much of the season, the Lions' running game was a strength of their offense. They were led by Mason Sharon, who rushed for an impressive 249 yards on six carries and scored three touchdowns. Quarterback Jackson Barber added 67 yards on three carries, while Carson Hepner and Tyler Heyer each averaged over six yards per carry. When one of us get, gets moving, we all get moving because one of us uh, breaking open a run just opens up another hole for someone else. So, I mean, the better we do as a group, the better the holes are going to be. Leo's defense only gave up seven points, which weren't scored until late in the third quarter. The Lions had eight tackles for loss, three sacks, and three forced turnovers. You know, to see that is something really cool to see. Uh, that's something that our, our, especially the sacks is something that our defense really prides ourselves in, is trying to get as many sacks as we can per game. Uh, we knew that if we can get a sack or so every series, that, that would um, kind of put them back a little, and uh, something that we really put focus to, especially for um, against Columbia City. I mean, these last two weeks, we all felt like we played a little down, not to our level, but this past week, I'm, I'm extremely proud of our defense. I feel like it was our best defensive performance in a while, so very proud. With the win, Leo clinches at least a share of the Northeast State Conference title with Norwell. But if the Lions win this week, they will clinch the conference outright for the second year in a row. The team is definitely eager to take the field on Friday and go for the conference championship. I can't wait. I mean, we could win a share of it if we lose, but that's not what we're looking for at all. We want, we want to be the outright winners. That's what we've been practicing for all year. That's what we've been talking about, and that's what we're going to do. The Lions' next game is against DeKalb. The Barons are 1-7, but they do present some challenges that Leo hasn't seen in recent weeks. They really like to throw the football. Um, you know, obviously, obviously um, you know, that, that's something that we really haven't seen in, in at least four weeks um, since, you know, since the East Noble game. They like to throw it a little bit, but DeKalb really likes to throw. Um, that's what they do, and so it's going to be a challenge for us to see you know, how we handle that. Can we pressure the quarterback? Uh, uh, Tegan Irk is a good athlete, good quarterback. Um, they have some good receivers, and so, you know, we're we're gonna be challenged uh, in in the passing game for sure by them. This is Thad Goff for Summit City Sports. The Lions kick off at 7 p.m. at DeKalb on Friday night.